is up guys it's Migs with market open uh, I want to do the midday market recap before I end up leaving for the day um, I wanted to start off uh, with Xnet uh, this is the first trading day of 2018 uh, ended up doing pretty well uh, actually I kind of wish I didn't take that last uh, trade on ABT I was up uh, you know, somewhere around 450 bucks or so uh, but you know, I was kind of feeling the market this morning, and uh, it, it definitely showed. I was adding where I was supposed to. I was getting out when I was supposed to, and uh, yeah, did considerably well this morning. In about uh, yeah, I was done in about an hour. All right. Uh, so the first trade I took, uh, I took a long on Xnet right at uh, so let's see here, one minute chart. I probably ended up taking that on the one minute chart here. Right around here. Yep. So, as you can see, Xnet was actually gapping up this morning. So it was gapping up this morning from the from the 15, 1525 area. And typically, what I look for at the beginning of the day, either I look for an ORB, which is an opening range breakout, or a pullback buy. So, um, I, I let the market open up right in the morning. Uh, it sold off a little bit, then it came right back. As soon as it did, um, I looked for a pullback. So as you can see, it pulled back into here. I made a lower high, and at the break of this, so that basically the break of this candle right here in this area, 1609, 1610, I longed it. Um, and as you can see right here in this candle, um, it's considerably a lot more volume than what was traded on uh, the first 15 minutes. So a lot of people were thinking the same thing. Um, so the break here is 1610. I actually ended up getting it at uh, 1612. Um, and I added another 250 right here at 1613. So um, I was long, you know, 750 shares. No, 700 shares. Yes, yeah, so I was long 700 shares right at uh, with an average of 16, 16, 2, 12. Um, let's see here. So I actually, it, it ended up taking off and usually what I would do is I would, I would shoot for a two to one, my stop being right here at the bottom of this candle. So this 1595 and I longed it here. So I was only, I was only risking about 15 cents. So that's why I ended up, I wanted to get 750 shares, but, um, it was just spare the moment. I just typed it in and did it as fast as I could. Let me make this thing float on top. There we go. All right, so I did it as fast as I could. And I just added another set of shares. Um, so I got rid of the first set after I hit my one to one target. So 1634, I got rid of 500. Uh, 1635, I, I mean, I saw it spike up, um, but the spreads were a little bit uneven. So I tried to um, sell on the ask, but it just it kept dipping down a little bit lower. So I just sold another 100. And as, as it kept dipping a little lower, I got rid of the, the next 100 shares. So on that trade, I ended up making somewhere a little bit over 100 bucks. Uh, my next trade was on WATT. So I went long WATT right at 10 a.m. So I probably did that on the five minute. So usually the first couple of minutes, I will trade on the, well, probably within the first 15 minutes or so. Um, I'll trade the one minute chart, but after that, I'll switch over to the five. So as you can see, WATT was also gapping up this morning from it, from it selling off. Um, I believe it was uh, last trading day, so last week. And basically all it was is it was a bounce. So I didn't really have too much faith in it. Uh, just because it was just a bounce. So it's it's a little bit different than when something is bouncing um, than when it's gapping up and it's still running because it has room to run. But if you look at the daily chart on WATT, it gapped up, ran, and it had no resistance on this day. It gapped up again and it ran again. Now it's pulling back. Now when it pulled back, I kind of marked out the levels there and there. And so if it was gapping up, I know it was just because it was selling off on this day. So I, I didn't, it's not a situation where it's getting good news and it's gapping up and running. It's just basically a sympathy thing like, oh, you know, they, 
they oversold it, so let me pick up some shares for really cheap, basically. So it's not something that you should have too much faith in, although it did show a lot of strength today and it did run, but remember, it is just a bounce. Uh, with that being said, it's gapping up, it's sold off, so the trend is your friend. I'm, I'm going to long something that's gapping up, so even if it does sell off, I'm going to wait for it to cross the VWAP and the 9 moving average. I'm going to wait for it to pull back. I'm going to set my stop right under that candle and the 9, and then I'm going to rip it up. So as you can see right here, it sold off. It started slowly climbing. It broke the 9 and VWAP with volume. So as you can see on here, with volume, it pulled back slowly with less volume, which means it's people just taking profits. At the break of that candle, I was going to get in. So actually, I think I ended up taking this on the, I ended up taking it on the one minute which I usually don't. Um, so as you can see on here, it, it triple tapped uh, 2220, and it pulled back all the way to the 9. And as soon as it, it hit 22, I went long 200 shares. And as soon as it did, it broke 2220, and it just took off. Um, I sold, I held for about 80 cents, and um, I sold 150 shares, you can see on here, for... Uh, 82 cents and then it, as it was coming down I sold the last 50 so I actually ended up making 289 actually I think I ended up longing it again so yeah so actually I made about half of that a little bit over a hundred hundred dollars maybe like 150 or so and uh, let's see here sold off sold that off let me cover actually let's Let's go to the next trade. My trade, my next trade was ABT. Hmm. Dang, it actually did exactly what I thought it was going to do minus the pullback. All right, so as you can see, ABT was gapping up right here. And basically where I saw it was right here. I was looking at the five-minute chart. And what I based my risk off of is the last red candle that, uh, that basically dipped down and the buyers just came up and, and bought it up. So... I knew that I wanted to go long uh, anything over 59. So I went long 500 shares since I was only risking about 17 cents. I went long 500 shares uh, of ABT right at, let's see, what did I get it at? I got it at 59.01. But as you can see on here, it dipped, it went up, but it didn't go as much as I thought it was going to. As you can see on here, that there's a lot of volume behind it, but it just it didn't have a lot of ump to it. it there's no follow through. So I held through this pullback right here. I actually almost got kicked out. Um, but it actually ended up coming back. The nine started curling back up. But I actually ended up getting kicked out of it. I kept moving my stop up farther and farther and farther. And actually ended up getting kicked out of ABT right at 58.79. Uh, ended up losing $110, unfortunately. Now, as you can see on here, it consolidated for a while. I didn't take this trade. It consolidated for a while. It broke over this uh, this little lower high, and it just took off again. So, yeah. But by this time, I wasn't I wasn't paying attention to it anymore. It's it's no big deal. Um, now my other trade on WATT. Let's see here. Where did I long? Long WATT right at 1017. No, that's wrong day. Right here somewhere. 1015. Yep. 2366. Yep, right here. Wow. 23.6, oh, actually, no, I sold it off, my bad. All right, so right over 23, um, if you notice that it pulled back, it was relatively high volume, honestly. Um, it pulled back straight to the nine, so it was still supporting it, and I knew the VWAP was right under it. So anything over the whole number, I was willing to risk 50 cents on it. So I got in right at the break of uh, 23. Uh, right as that happened, it broke over the high as well. And I ended up writing it up for 66 cents uh, with 200 shares. That's another, you know, $120 or so. 
So took two trades on WATT, and I told myself, okay, I'm done with WATT for the day. So I did not expect it to rip up, you know, that much. I ended up making a little bit short of $300 on that, and uh, 146 on XNet, and right under an hour. So it's definitely definitely not a bad day for for an hour's work. Um, I will try to bring you guys more midday market recaps um, as time does allow. Um, also, make sure that you guys are following us on our new Facebook group. It's free to join. It's a bunch of like-minded people, so you can share your ideas, um, trading plans, watch lists, and all that sort of stuff. So I like to put that all out there and give information to other people that are starting to you know, be on their way or trying to learn how to invest or trying to trade and things like that. So. Um, also, if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Um, hit the little bell button right down there so it'll tell you every time that I post up a video. So it, it could be an informational video, it could be a trade recap, uh, psychology video. Or if you guys have any other ideas on videos that you would like to see, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. But I'm done for the rest of the day and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.